Well, welcome back to What to Wear as we continue our journey through the wonderful world of hats. Well, I'm joined here with, I guess you could call him a hat connoisseur. Uh, his name's Fred Belinsky. He's the owner of the Village Hat Shop. It's a online hat store, and he also has retail stores throughout Southern California. Uh, Fred, thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks is for inviting right, me. Is that the right word, hat connoisseur? Well, hatter is hatter? typically okay. what the men's uh, side of the, the, the person involved in the men's side of the business referred to, and milliner if I were involved in the women's side women's of the business. Women's hats. And yeah. that's a note right now. Um, he's here brought a selection of men's hats um, from his store. Um, and first, if you can just go through what you brought to show us. Sure. Well, the hat business uh, generally is divided between the felt season and the straw season. You know, the, the fall winter mm -hmm. season where a man wears a felt hat and the spring summer season where a man wears a straw hat. I didn't know that. So okay. in response to your query about uh, the finer hats, I brought you the finest examples of straw and the finest examples of felt. Okay. Um, oftentimes, uh, people, uh, when they think about the finest of straw hats, talk about a Panama hat. Right. And these are both Panama hats. Now, okay. Panama hats don't come from Panama. They come primarily from Ecuador. Uh, they became popular in North America and in Europe when the Panama Canal was being built. And therefore, when they made their way to the, the uh, uh, North America and to Europe, they came from Panama because that's where the trade was going on, but they were actually from Ecuador. Now, when I hear about Panama hats, I mean, they're, they're usually handmade, correct? An authentic Panama hat? Correct. Okay. Correct. Now, people can get very confused about a Panama hat. It's kind of like buying a Persian rug. Okay. Uh, you know, if you don't <laughs> know what you're buying, be very careful because a Panama hat is a hat made from a particular straw material, and that straw material can be woven very rough and very fast or very fine and very carefully. And it, there's a tremendous amount of work. Okay. Like, it can be literally months to get months a, for a Months, hat? literally, wow. for a hat like this to be woven in the finest quality. So we have the Panama hats here, and then this over here, this is called uh, the Stetson hat, correctly, this, the, which is mostly, it's a Western kind of hat manufacturer, well, cowboy hats. Well, a lot of people know Stetson as a Western hat manufacturer, and okay. it was founded by John B. Stetson, whose first Western hat was the boss of the Plains. It's, it's a very famous uh, hat uh, brand. Uh, however, Stetson can make hats in any style. They make fedoras, they make cloth caps. Uh, so what I brought you is one of the iconic Stetson styles, which is uh, the open road. It was made famous by uh, LBJ or it by does. Harry Truman. It looks like it's just right out of an old Western movie. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. a little bit smaller brim than a classic true uh, Western hat. That brim's a little bit smaller, but that cattleman crown is just as classic as they come in Western hats. If you're somebody like me, I mean, what do you do if... If you're the type of person, you get home, you're wearing a hat all day, and you throw it somewhere, and you might forget about the hat for, you know, a couple months, and something gets thrown on top of it, and you pretty much ruin the hat. Uh -huh. what, what can you do after that? Is there anything, do we have to go and bring it into a store and get it fixed, or is there any kind of home remedy that sure, we can do? Sure, sure. You can turn on your tea kettle, and you can create some steam. Okay. And then you could take the hat and pass it kind of lightly over the tea kettle, uh, get or take it into the shower or if you've got a jacuzzi or a spa you know take it you know into the jacuzzi with you without immersing it in the water of course and then use the steam to reshape what's lost in the crown in the crown shape and in the brim shape and you say these have a memory correct so they, it might they, actually they, they have a memory that's right. correct so understand when the hat was originally blocked it was uh, made for instance this hat into this shape so if it got crushed and you steamed it uh, and tried to recreate the shape, it would the hat would find the shape again. It would bring it back. Wow, yes. that's incredible. Yeah, you want to handle the hat by the brims so that you uh, keep the crown looking s snappy. And then when you put the hat down, you always want to put it down, crown down, so that you preserve that nice roll in the brim. There's different hats, correct, for different types of figures, for different men, for for skinny men, tall men, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and talk a little bit about that. Right. So if I, if a man came into my store and he had a particular body type or particular face, you know, with a nose that was, let's say, of a particular size or ears that, you know, were out of proportion to his head or something, and I said to him, 
you know, a man like you needs to wear, you know, a hat like this, and he doesn't like that hat, you know, it's, it's, right, exactly. it, it, it just doesn't okay. mean a thing. So what I really invite an individual to do is try on various styles with different brim lengths, different crown heights, different crown styles, uh, different materials in terms of uh, some people would prefer a cloth hat than okay. they would a straw or a felt hat. Um, and, and, you know, that really is the subjective answer. However, okay. there are certain uh, objective ways to determine what hat looks better on what face. For example, if a face kind of goes this way, you know, I think generally speaking, that man can wear huh. more hats than somebody who has a really? very round okay. face. Uh, if you've got a, 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 a large nose, you want to make sure that your brim extends further than your, than your nose. Be just from a proportional, you know, uh, kind of an analysis, it looks better. Uh, ob again, objectively. Okay. That man might prefer... You know, a hat with a brim that's shorter, however. So there you go. Whether you're tall, short, have a big nose, small <laughs> nose, Fred has a hat for you. Go visit him at villagehatshop.com. We'll have more with what to wear coming right up. Stay with us. Here, try this one. <laughs> Looking cool. So is this right? Am it I looks wearing this right? Yeah, so you're wearing it real well. You okay. just, you know, it looks very snappy. <laughs>